I can never fail, I can never lose. That's the only life I know. Full of the spirits when I step into the place. Said the mirror, he knows what he's looking at. Um, something like this is, is I'm not going to say, you know, people around the country would say this is what they needed to humble themselves. We wasn't arrogant or whatever. We just, we're confident people. If our confidence offends your insecurity, that's the problem with you. It's not us. And we expect to do well. We expect to play well. We expect to win every game we step out there. We expect to practice to perfection. That's fear. Fear. Yeah, that's fear. That's like, hey, man. Shoot, we don't want to let that engine that could get going because if that engine that could get going, he's going to start saying, I think I can, I think I can. And sooner or later, he's going to start saying, I know I can, I know I can. And then sooner or later, he's going to start saying, I did that. Are, are you the change agent? Are you the ultimate change I, agent? I, I make a difference. I truly make a difference. I make folks nervous, man. I, I get folks moving in their seat. I get folks twirling their thumbs. I get them thinking and second guessing themselves. You know, have you ever been so clean that you walked in and somebody looked down at you then they looked at themselves, they had to check themselves because you were so clean? I have that effect. That's the vibe you're getting. I have that effect. <laughs> that was some good game right there, Look, but We ain't got next. We got now. We ain't coming no more. Hey there everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Um, so today on the agenda I'm getting ready to go get some Starbucks coffee because we are in full you know fall mode. Uh, fall came or the first day of fall was like last Friday I think. Today is a Monday. Um, so I think the first day of fall was like last Friday or something which I totally just slipped my mind which is weird because I've been looking forward to fall and the fall weather and the transition season and you know outfit styling and all that for the past month so you know I don't know just the time just kind of gets away with you um, but yeah we are in full you know fall mode and full you know fall swing so I thought today I would you know start the season off with going to Starbucks because you know I'm just uh, you know that basic girl that goes to Starbucks like everybody else to try out the fall drinks um, so I don't have anything in particular that I want to try out um, I uh, like the caramel, I think it's the caramel mocha or the caramel, what is it, the caramel ribbon crunch. That used to be a fall um, drink, but they started selling it every, you know, like year round. So I, you know, can't even, I used to look forward to fall weather and go on to Starbucks to get that drink. But now that they sell it, you know, it's one of the regulars, you know, kind of takes the fun out of it. So I'm going to try out something different. If I don't see something that I really like, then I'm going to end up just getting the um, caramel ribbon crunch, which is what I always typically get when I go. So I haven't been to Starbucks in a while, so I thought I would do that um, and maybe get something to eat. Like I have a taste for like a grilled cheese sandwich, so I may get that. But we'll see. Um, just want to get out of the house for a little bit because um, it's a nice day. Like I said, it's a Monday and I have to go back to work tomorrow. So I'm enjoying my little last off day. I was off yesterday, which was Sunday. So I'm off today and I have to go back to work tomorrow. So just want to enjoy my last little off day before I have to go back to work. So, um, but yeah, and then when I come back, um, I'll, you know, tr do a Zara, not Zara, Target um, haul. Because I did pick up some pieces from Target. You probably have already seen some of these pieces in my last video my Pinterest inspired outfits video you probably would have seen or you did see some pieces that I got from Target just recently so I want to show you know share with you guys the rest of the things that I got from Target and I want to share with you guys an item that I got um, from my fall fashion wish list because I did purchase um, something from my wish list if you haven't seen that video I will link it up here put it up here down below it'll be down in the description box too um, so that you guys can see what I got um, from my fashion wish list because I did get me something off my wish list so you guys will see when I come back what I got so um but yeah so that's really it for the uh, that's on the agenda today um I was actually planning on vlogging I was gonna vlog yesterday but I just wasn't feeling it I was too tired and so it's like I'll just do it today since I'm off today um so I don't really have anything anything planned just 
you know, go and hang out and enjoy a little bit of this weather because it's starting to cool off here. It's like, I think like in the 70s here in Georgia. So perfect weather, perfect fall weather. So, um, but yeah, so I want to share with you guys my outfit real quick because I love it. It's just something, you know, really cute and chic. Um, so starting from the top, I have on my sunglasses. Y'all know these. I wear them all the time. Um, they're from Amazon. They have the orange tinted lens to them. And then as far as jewelry, I have on these hoop earrings that I got from Amazon. I have on just some layering. Layering. I gotta wake up, y'all, so bear with me. I need that first cup of coffee. Um, but I have on a layering necklace. This is from Amazon. This, I don't know where this one is from. It's like a herringbone necklace. And this little cute little, um, like beaded, like colorful beaded necklace. I don't even know where I got this from. I think I might have gotten it from like a little gift shop at a beach or something. But it has like a little sunflower charm on it. Um, so yeah, so that's the necklaces as far as my bracelets. I have on these little bangles from Shein Of course I have on my um, Apple watch and just have on some random jewelry. I think all these are from Shein if I'm not mistaken uh, Yeah, pretty much all these are from uh, Shein and Yeah, let me show you the other side too. Yeah, I think these are all from Shein so Mm, and then as far as the outfit, I have on this crochet knitted top. I'm finally able to wear this because um, I bought this over the summertime thinking I could wear it in the summer, but it was just too hot. So I was like, I can, this will be a perfect transition piece to wear in the fall time. So yeah, so I have on this crochet top. This is from NAKD and then underneath that I just have on like a ribbed, you probably can't see it. It's a ribbed um, tank top that I got from Shein several I think last year actually it was last year I have this these in several colors um, and then pants I have on these pinstripe trousers I don't know it's kind of just I wanted to like dress up and kind of do all black outfit and these are dressy pants um, I think I showed these in a Zara haul yeah for, definitely showed these in a Zara haul and told you guys that I didn't like the fabric yeah that's the only thing about these is the fabric is just I don't know it feels just stiff but it's not uncomfortable so but it's okay but yeah there's some pinstripe you can see black pinstripe pants. So pinstripe is huge right now. So, um, and then uh, as far as on my feet, I just have on some flip flops. These are like some nude flip flops that I got from NAKD as well. So, but this is the look of the day just to go and get a cup of coffee um, or get some kind of coffee, something and you know, a little breakfast and yeah, that's the look of the day. So um, I'm going to get out of here. You guys are going to come along with me and then we'll come back and look at some you know fall fashion goodies so uh, but yeah so let's just get out of here and make this day a great day hope you having a great day wherever you are whenever you're watching this i hope your day is fabulous as well so all right so let's get this day started hi welcome to starbucks my name is Christian. can i get your name for the order uh my name is crystal what can i get started for you um i want to get the um the pumpkin spice latte grande We're size actually out of our pumpkin Oh, okay. Oh, wait, oh, sorry. We actually just found some. What size did you want for that? Um, I'll take a grande. A grande? Yeah. Do you want that hot or iced? Um, I'll do iced. Okay. And then, um, I'll take a grilled cheese sandwich if you have it. We're actually, we are out of all of our lunch sandwiches today. Okay. Um, do you have any breakfast sandwiches? Yeah, we have our breakfast. Okay, it looks like we have one of all of them. Okay. Um, I'll try the the bacon gouda and egg sandwich. Bacon gouda and egg sandwich. Uh -huh. right, anything else for you? Uh, that'll be it. Alright, it's going to be 11.45 at the window. I like coming to this Starbucks because there is no line. It's going to be 11.45. We're just waiting on that sandwich for you. Okay, thank you. Alright, so they didn't have... They didn't have my grilled cheese, so I guess it's okay. I just got my normal um, bacon, egg, and gouda sandwich that I always get, so I need to find somewhere to park because I don't want to eat and drive. I want to park somewhere. You know what? I have nowhere to park over here. Let me just go. Let me just pull over somewhere because, yeah, I want to eat. So I want to try this. I don't think I've ever had a pumpkin, pumpkin spice latte. And to be honest with you, I'm not like a huge pumpkin fan. Um, I'm just not. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I forgot to even mention that I have like my little ponytail going on here. I don't know if you guys can see. 
um but i have my little ponytail i didn't even talk about that before i left the house um just doing something different with my hair because i've been wearing y'all know i've been wearing it um well i got a haircut so i had no choice but to wear it down because i can't really put it in a ponytail so i had to really like figure out how to get this thing on, attached on my head um because my hair is so short and used it used to be when my hair was longer i could just braid the braiding hair into my hair and so now because my hair is so short and i don't have enough hair to do that i had to figure out how to braid this in so i don't know i didn't t i didn't film it or anything because i was really just trying to hurry up and get out of the house and she didn't give me any napkins and i don't have any in this car um and also i'm in a rental car there's a lot there's a lot's been going on y'all that's why i wanted to um kind of pull over and talk and hope y'all don't mind me eating and talking at the same time because it's just like we're out we're girl you know girlfriends girlfriends and we out you know on a little lunch date okay and we're just eating and you know having some girl time um but yeah so i got a rental car because my little my baby she had to go in for her little checkup for the uh six months i think anyway i had to get an oil change and then they're like giving me new tires and stuff like that so yeah so she's in the shop she's she's in the sick and shed in right now so <laughs> so um yeah so i'm in a rental car so not only do i not have what i need in this car but i also left like my little car mount that i put my phone on so like film is in my car so i'm having to like film on my um phone which i'm um, not my phone film on my camera which i don't like to do because the battery goes dead so quickly and yeah i just rather use my vlog camera or my that i use like to film videos with i like to vlog on my phone because the battery obviously will last longer and um yeah i just prefer that um but yeah as i was saying um my car's in the shop so i'm in a rental car and it's actually nice my son was like mom we should get this i'm like no it's small i have an audi a6 and this is an audi a5 and it's way too small like if it was just me but i'm like everybody in my family we're all tall so this and we barely can fit in my a5 so this would be a no-go for sure mm. Now I know why I don't like pumpkin stuff. I just don't like, when it comes to fall, y'all, I don't even know why I like fall like that because I don't like pumpkins. I don't like anything that's like fruity, you know, like I don't like like fruity scents because that's ch typically when like all the, you know, fruity stuff comes out it's like in the fall time, like the apple and the cinnamon and the pumpkin. I don't like any of that. Like I like apples, but I just don't like it in like, you know, like scents and stuff like the candles that I get from Bath and Body Works I typically get will I'll typically get like the sweater the sweater weather I'll get um the one that smells masculine I can't think of the name of it right now it smells, smells kind of masculine I get that one um and then there's another one I get oh what is it called I can't think of it but there's only like three of my favorites and none of them are like fruity scents like I just don't like for my house to smell like that so, yeah. So, really the only thing about fall that I get most excited about is the fashion. <laughs> like, that's it. I don't get excited about all, like, trying the different drinks and stuff. Like, like I said, I did get excited about the, um, uh, what is it called? The one that I always get. The, um... Caramel ribbon crunch, but now they sell it. That's what I should have got. I should have got that, but I wanted to try something different. So, this is me trying something different. The caramel, or not caramel, I wish they had caramel. I, okay, so let me just say caramel. I love caramel. That's probably one like sweet, that's not fruit, it's candy, but caramel. I love caramel. That's probably my favorite type of flavor. It's caramel of flavor, y'all. Um, I feel like it is. But caramel is my favorite flavor. I love anything with caramel on it. So, I'll do a caramel apple. So, I feel like that's big in the fall season. 
So I love caramel apples, but like I, like I guess really there's certain like scents I don't like in my house. I guess that's the main thing, but when it comes to like food stuff, you know, I don't really care unless it's caramel, so. But yeah, so. It's actually not bad. If you're into pumpkin stuff, I'm sure all the pumpkin lovers are loving this. I do like pumpkin pie though, because it kind of tastes a little bit like sweet potato pie. Because I love sweet potato pie, so it kind of tastes like that. So, um, but I'm gonna finish eating my food real quick, and then I'll hop back on here and talk with y'all. Because I know y'all probably don't want to see me eat this whole entire time. I don't know, maybe you do, but. I'm gonna eat my food real quick and I'll come back on here. All right guys, so we are on the road. I'm gonna try to get home so I can um, share with you guys the things that I got um, new in from Target and um, my new shoe unboxing. I wanted to uh, pop on here real quick and um, talk to you guys about something that I said in one of my vlogs last month um, in August. Um, if you've been following along on my vlogs, then you know what I'm talking about. If not, then definitely go watch um, some of my other vlogs I had talked about um, how August August basically was a pretty rough month for me it was a lot that I was dealing with and going on um, one of the, two of the things is uh, one of the thing I guess which is actually two because I was sick twice last month um, I had got food poisoning one week I got like the COVID, COVID the next week what am I trying to say girl I don't even know that's just how I'm trying to drive. I'm trying to multitask. I don't know why I thought I could multitask and talk to y'all, but because I'm trying to get on the interstate and I typically don't drive and talk to y'all at the same time, but yeah, so I was dealing with a lot <laughs> in August, so um, and I told you guys in one of my vlogs that September has got to get better, like it's got to get better, right? Like I said that last month, I remember, I do remember distinctively saying that, like September has got to be better, like it, it can't get any worse like I mean it could get worse but it's I, I said you know September has got to be better like something's got to pull through for me and come through for me you know I went through all these bad things and dealing with all these thoughts and um, just feeling down and just feeling out like September has got to be a better month and I remember saying that and we're coming up on the end of September right and I was I was reminded of and I guess God reminded me of what you know I had said that this month has got to be a better month and y'all when I tell you this month has been a better month for me um, in so many ways um, I have been encouraged in so many different ways this month that I couldn't even really put into words like I think that's why I'm stumbling up all my words as far as what I went through in August because what I went through in August it doesn't matter because I got through it and we're in September and September was a better month for me like talk about manifestation like I am a firm believer in manifestation um, coming from you know a spiritual person I do believe that whatever you put out there whatever you speak it will come into you know will come into existence and I've lived my life that way right like my whole entire life has been that way Any, anything that I've ever you know went out you know set out for or spoken to my life it has come to fruition so this month has definitely just been a you know just a better month for me as far as like happiness like I have been so happy and and i actually my husband was like what's gotten into you you was just you know laughing and making jokes and just you know i'm like i don't know but i'm like i like it you know i like this this part of me and i like this version of myself and i think it's all because i chose to be happy and you know how you hear people say um that happiness is a choice i hear people say that all the time I'm like what do you mean like okay you're like just because you choose to be happy don't mean you're happy but i do firmly believe that if you choose to be happy that you will be happy like it takes a little bit of work and effort to do it but i do believe that if you choose to be happy then you will be happy and this month i chose happiness i chose not to be miserable i chose not to be you know in my feelings about things i chose to not allow people and their you know negativity to you know 
have more power and more control over me than the inner me, which is the God in me. You know, nobody has more, nobody should have more control over you and your thoughts and your feelings and your emotions more so than God. And that's one realization that I, you know, came, you know, came to me this month. It's like, girl, like you've been spending your life just upset about things and miserable about things and in your feelings about things. Like, why? Like, why are you allowing you know other people to control how you respond you know and i know this but you know sometimes some things are just easier said than done right but i realized that i wasn't choosing happiness you know i was choosing to be you know angry upset i was choosing to be mad about certain things and i was like you know what i'm just so tired like you ever just get to the point where you're just so tired and you're just like you know what enough is enough i've had it up to here with my own self and so i realized you know what it was a good month because I chose happiness and I already spoke about happiness before you know in the last I think the last vlog or one vlog one of the vlogs I did I talked about happiness but um, I guess that was again me manifesting you know happiness because honestly y'all I have not been happy like and I've said this before like people look on here and, and see people doing things and see people looking you know on social media and think that they just their life is just perfect and it's not like everybody has a battle that they're dealing with that nobody knows about you know what I'm saying that's why we shouldn't judge people and you know shouldn't you know be hating people because of what they have because you don't know what people are going through you really don't know unless they tell you you know because it's easy to you know put up a facade that you are okay when really you're not so um yeah i, I really if i if i must be honest with myself i really haven't been you know a-okay and but like i said i went through what i went through last week or last month i should say and um to prepare me for you know my happiness i had to choose to be happy like i could choose to be miserable i could choose to be sad i can choose to continue to walk around with my head down like god ain't been good to me like i am a blessed woman i am truly a blessed woman and i have no reason to be miserable i have no reason to be unhappy i have no reason to you know walk around being miserable i have no reason to be because god has been so so good to me he has blessed me in more ways than i can ever know you know i can see what he's done but i don't know exactly all the things that he's done for me so but all i do know one thing i do know for sure is that you know he has been good to me so i i choose happiness and you know i just you know encourage you all to just choose happiness you happiness is definitely a choice like i get it now like i understand when people say that i get it now like it is a choice you can choose to be happy or you can choose to wallow in your own suffering you can choose to wallow in your own guilt of what you did or did not do you can choose to you know continue to dwell on you know what happened what happened to you you know that wasn't fair what happened you know who you know it doesn't matter what happened happened you can choose to still be happy like there is still parts of your life where you can choose that i'm gonna be happy in this part of my life um as opposed to being you know miserable and walking around like you know the world is uh, you know about to come to an end like no i'm gonna be happy i'm gonna laugh more i'm gonna you know i'm not I've been, i'm like you know what i've been crying long enough i've tried crying you know what i'm saying i've tried crying and doing all the things long enough now it's time for me to, to start having some joy some real joy okay I'm, it's time for me to smile more and laugh more make jokes you know it's time it's, it's past due <laughs> it's past due you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm just so excited and just want to just spread that happiness and that joy to you guys and just encourage you like uh, uh like no no man like no we're gonna choose happiness we're gonna choose to be happy we're not gonna be miserable we're not gonna you know complain you know um <laughs> i was at work the other day and you know you just how you have banter at work you know um someone asked me you know how how are you or something like that and i was like i'm, I'm, I'm doing all right i can't complain and she was like nobody would listen anyway and it was funny to me you know but it's true like everybody's got issues that they're dealing with like you can sit up and complain and you know about what you do what you're going through but everybody got issues nobody wants to hear you complain about yours like we all got enough going on choose to be happy you, you know what i'm saying instead of complaining do something about you know what you don't like you know what i'm saying or just choose to be happy i'm gonna choose to be happy regardless i'm gonna choose to be happy and content in where i am in my life until you know god does what i need him to do um and i think a lot of times we hinder our own blessings because we choose to look at life you know from a negative perspective instead of looking at it from a positive perspective like you know what it's got to get better like i manifested that you know what i'm saying i manifested my happiness because i chose you know 
that September was going to be a month of happiness for me. And it became a month of happiness for me. It became a month of joy. And trust me when I say the enemy tried to come in, I'm going to tell you, the enemy tried to come in and take away that happiness because he was like, you know what? Oh, I see you happy now. I see you. Ha no, uh -uh, period. You are not coming in and stealing this happiness, this newfound happiness and peace that I manifested for myself. Like, no, I'm sorry. It's a no go. Try somebody else. Try Jesus. Don't, but don't try me, baby. No, no, we're going to be happy over here. So I just wanted to come on here real quick because y'all know I like to give my motivational moments to you guys. So that was my motivational moment for you guys. And, you know, sitting here in the car, bad quality and all. But um, the best, the most thing I hope you guys that you heard what I said. You don't have to necessarily see me, <laughs> but the main thing is that you heard what I said. So, but yeah, girl, choose happiness. Just it's choose it it's free like you can literally just choose it like it's totally free you ain't got to pay for it. you ain't go, got to go out here and you know beg borrow please steal to get it like it's it's readily available <laughs> so um but yeah that's my motivational moment i hope you guys like that it got um, a little bit of encouragement from that like you guys just don't understand like i'm just so at peace and just so happy and i feel like um I, I feel like that, you know, things that, you know, I've been asking God for, I feel like now I can, well, I don't feel like it. I see it's finally coming to fruition. So I'm just excited. I'm just super excited. So just stay tuned for like, I don't know what God doing and what he about to do, but I know he going to be doing something. And I need y'all to just be on board with me, you know, my support system, because you guys are just so amazing. And I just really appreciate all of you guys that follow me and um encourage me you know like i said this is a you know reciprocal situation here like i've encouraged you guys you've encouraged me like that's what a community does so um but i will catch up with you guys in just a minute i'm gonna share with you guys some things that um i got new in my wardrobe so yeah see you guys in a hot second so I finally made it home so I just thought I would share with you guys real quick like the things that I got from Target and also do a shoe unboxing so we'll get into the Target stuff first um let me see let me do like the more boring stuff although I don't know if this stuff is boring but I did pick up some socks and I did a LTK I'd like to know it um post where I share with you guys like a few socks that I've been loving and we know that the sporty you know socks trend and just socks in general like wearing socks with loafers wearing socks with um any kind of shoe really is you know huge and trending right now or like colorful socks with shoes is huge so I picked up some from Target and I wanted to share with you guys so the first pack is a pack of three and they're these and I can't remember what these what the price was on these I don't even think I still have the receipt but yeah so this is a pack of three and it comes with like this gray color like a dark gray and then the middle one is like a light gray with like looks like black stripe yeah um so dark a light gray with black stripes this is a dark gray with white stripes and then a black with white stripes so um I thought these would be cute to wear with like some leggings you know in the fall time um over some leggings and like some sneakers and you know like an oversized shirt and like a vest like a long line vest so that's a cute like little outfit formula that I like to wear in the fall time especially like to my son's basketball games or something like that or to like run errands so yeah love these socks and so I got this pair and then I got this pair here these are more longer and I think all these are women's socks too by the way um but yeah so I have a white one with like a what is this like a burgundy stripe and then I have another pair they're black with like a white stripe and then I have these that are white or like cream with like this gold or mustard yellow stripe so I got those and then I got these I actually already opened up these and I think the other one yeah 
this, these I wore in like a styling video. I think my last Pinterest inspired outfits video, I styled up these socks. Um, so they came in a pack of three. So the first one I got are these. They are cream with a black stripe. And then the ones, the other two are gray with like a navy blue stripe. And the other one is like a camel color with like a blue stripe. So love those. And then the last pair of socks that I got um, are these. These were fun. And I really just got this pair um, because of this pair of socks here. Um, they have like little bees on them. So I thought that would be cute to wear um, with like a, like a Gucci outfit inspired like kind of look um, because we know bees is the Gucci like little symbol I guess if you will. So but I just thought that was cute. It's just like um, navy blue with like these little gold beads. Gold beads. Gold bees. Um, and then the bottom of them. Um, it's like a stripe, but you can't really see the bottom of them when you wear shoes But I think when you wear loafers, you could probably see the stripes. I don't know. Maybe not but yeah So I only got this pair of socks for this pair of socks right here and in the middle one It's like a navy blue with like I don't know what kind of pattern that is It's like kind of like scales like fish scales or something. So I don't know but it's navy blue and then uh, the other pair is just like a navy blue um, I think this is like really really small stripes. I don't know if you can see that and then like the the toe part is red So which you wouldn't see the toe part anyway um, Unless you wear sandals, which I don't know. I like socks the whole socks with loafers and you know um, Sneakers, but I don't know if I can do Sandals. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can do sandals. I might try it just to see you know just to style it up But I don't know if I can get with sandals with socks yeah that's that's kind of like a little too out the box for me but i don't know i might try it out all right so those are the socks and then i got just some more a few little clothing pieces um this i got from the men's section i saw this um as i was going on to try the other clothes on that i had that i'm going to share with you guys and i saw this in the men's section and i thought it was so cute i love vests if you've been following me you know i love vests so i picked up this one in the men's section and it's like in this like plaid print if you will i don't know if you can see it's like brown plaid and it has like orange running through it but yeah i love this but i mainly love the back of it because it's the back of it it's a different type of plaid um yeah the the plaid in the back of it is actually even different from the plaid in the front so i really like that detail of like tone on tone or not tone on tone y'all forgive me i am so tired and just like slipping on my words <laughs> Um, but it has like this pattern on pattern is what I meant to say. So it's like a pattern in the back, more of like, um, a plaid, like a, you know, big kind of large plaid print and then the plaid in the front. So I thought this would be cute to wear, especially in, you know, the fall and winter season because plaid is a huge pattern in this, you know, this time of year. And I'm actually going to be doing like a styling different style aesthetics video. I think that would be a fun video to do to show you guys how to style up the different trending style aesthetics that are out now. And so one of the style trends I'm going to do is styling dark academia because that's another style trend um, for that's been popping for a few seasons. I would say a few um, probably a year or so maybe. So I thought this would be a cute vest to style up in the dark, dark academia style trend or yeah style trend or style aesthetic. Um, and I actually bought this before I even thought about doing that video. So this just kind of like gives me some inspo and helps, helps me to style up that, that, uh, style aesthetic. So yeah, love that vest. And then the next thing I got, I was so excited when I saw this. If you've been following me, you, like I said, in so I think a previous video, I love red. Um, it's one of my favorite colors. And so I've been looking for like red pieces to, just to add to my wardrobe. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, this vest, it is in a men's size and I got it in a size large in the men's section and it was $30. So not too bad for a nice, like it looks like a nice quality uh, little vest. It looks like something I could have thrifted and I for sure could have thrifted this, but, and it looks like a thrifted piece too. Um, but anywho, $30, that's not bad, it's Target. Um, and the next thing I got, like I said, I was wanting to find some red pieces to add to my wardrobe because I love red, but I don't have a lot of red things. And so I saw this skirt and it was an immediate yes for me. It is a red sequin skirt and it has like a split here on the side. If you can see that, um, you probably can't, but yeah, it's just a red sequin skirt. And I got this in a extra large and it kind of fits big on me. So I could have got a large, but I think this was the only one that I that I found when I was, you know, browsing in the store. And this one was $30 
and it's from the brand new day and i absolutely love this like this will be cute to style up especially like for the holiday season and yeah i don't have a red sequin skirt i don't have a lot of sequin pieces as it is but i definitely don't have a red skirt and i definitely don't have a red sequin skirt so this will be something fun to add to my wardrobe to style up you know and wear um also to wear out to date night too so absolutely love this um skirt and can't wait to style this up for you guys so stay tuned you guys know i probably will style it up in one of my you know outfit videos um and then the next thing i got is a red cardigan again like i said i've been trying to find red pieces so i found this red cardigan um in obviously target and i got it in a size extra extra large because these run kind of small and i wanted it i didn't want it to be fitted i wanted it to be kind of oversized a little bit so i got a 2x on this with this piece and let's see it was 25 dollars, so not too bad and it feels like really good quality it's super soft it's nothing itchy or anything so it'll be perfect to wear by itself or layered with something under you know underneath it or whatever like a turtleneck or something so but it's just like a just a basic red cardigan like this would be cute like if you want to do like an all red outfit i was watching um or looking at instagram you know browsing instagram and Lori harvey wore like an all red outfit to one of the fashion shows in milan i think i can't remember which fashion show it was um, but she wore like an all red like head to toe red outfit and she looked fire so um i was kind of inspired by that with this well i saw bought this before i saw that picture but when i saw that picture but i thought yeah that's a lot of red to wear but then i saw that video that outfit that she was wearing and i was like yeah i can pull that off so an all red look just even start with this cardigan the cardigan kind of makes it where it's not so dressy i feel like so it makes it like wearable and like every day you know what i mean so all i need is some red boots girl and it'll be it'll be a lot but it'll be so cute and just something different so um but yeah so love that cardigan and then the next thing i got i should have showed this when i showed the shoes but um i got this burgundy like faux leather hat i just thought this was so cute i'm not gonna put it on because i have my sunglasses on but i just thought this was so cute it looks like real leather and i love a hat y'all know i love me a good hat and um this one's just a plain just burgundy one that i can style up with you know any cute little outfit kind of matches my nails a little bit so um yeah this was $15 so not too bad and actually it'll be nice with the um uh vest here because the vest has like some burgundy I don't know if that's really burgundy it's more so purple but it still kind of works so um so yeah so I got this little burgundy hat and then the next thing I got um if you saw I got you if you guys saw my lashes one of my last videos it was a wish list video and there was a green um cardigan from massimo duty that i had on that wish list and mainly i had it because of or i had that uh wish list um or i had the massimo duty pieces on that wish list because of the color of the pieces um because i've been loving green especially like this like candy apple green um or like not candy apple but like granny smith apple uh, green color but anyway so i got this little like pullover or like i don't know like a it's like a ribbed like top or something it's a long sleeve top i got an extra large because i wanted it to be kind of big um and i got this um or okay yeah, i got an extra large i'm trying to find the tag that shows the price on it um let's see uh yeah this was 12 dollars. so just like a little layering piece I can, you know, wear like a vest on top of this or like a puffy vest, one of those puffer vests I can wear on top of this, layer on top of this. So just a good layering piece and I love the color of it. The main is the main reason why I got it. So um, I'm thinking now that I have this, I'm not going to get that green cardigan that I had on my wish list from Massimo Duty because, yeah, I, I think I only wanted it because of the color and it's super expensive. So I found, you know, something what i wanted because i was really what i was going to do with that cardigan is just use it as a layering piece and like put it over my shoulder like this with an outfit but now i can just do do it with this little you know 12 dollar um you know shirt so but yeah so i absolutely love that and then speaking of green to con or continuing on with the green pieces last but not least is this like i don't, don't want to call it a bodycon dress because it's not bodycon on me I probably if I would have went down a few sizes it probably would have been bodycon but it's just this green dress and I got this in a 2x as well um, because I didn't want it to be too tight and it absolutely is not and this was $35 so 
not bad at all for a like rib dress and again i had something similar to this on my wish list from massimo duty and that one wasn't it wasn't a uh, sweater material it wasn't like a knit material it was some other kind of material so i saw they had this at target and just, so i just had to scoop it up and i styled this up in my last video my last pinterest outfits video too i'll try to pop a uh, picture on the screen so you guys can kind of see how it looks on um because i don't think i'm gonna try these pieces on just because you'll see them in styling videos so just to kind of you know keep up the anticipation for some of my outfits videos that i do on my channel all the time so but yeah so those are all the pieces that i got from target so now i'm going to share with you guys uh what i got off my wish list <laughs> because a lot of these pieces were substitutions for what i had on my wish list at a more affordable price you know so that's always a good thing so now i'm gonna share with you guys the things that or an item that i got on my wish list so let's let me just show you guys my shoes all right so i took all the packing packaging off just to save some time and so here is the box so as you can see it's probably some sort of shoe so we're just gonna unbox it together so let me kind of put you guys down so you can kind of see um but here is the box and we're gonna open it up and the box is kind of ratted a little bit so don't like that here's my receipt and here are the shoes girl like yes so i did end up getting the tony bianco like yellow butter yellow boots so here is the first one and here is the other one so um but yeah so absolutely love these like first impressions like i haven't even opened these up at all so you guys are getting like the total unboxing the total like first impressions so first impressions i absolutely love these um they don't have any kind of marks on them at all um and again i got these from tony bianco i got them from the actual website i've gotten pieces or shoes from there before um via other websites but i actually went on the actual website and purchased these and um like i said first impressions love these this is the color boot that i've been wanting um because i do have some like camel boots kind of similar to this but they're darker so i wanted like a yellow like a butter yellow color um boots and i've been seeing these styled up on a lot of the um influencers on like youtube and um instagram mainly instagram and i just absolutely love them like i really love this heel this heel is just so cute like kind of like goes out if you will um and it's a very comfortable heel so it's something that i can absolutely walk in um and they also have a zipper which i appreciate so i don't have to worry about trying to um put my foot in these and they won't be difficult to take off when i take them off so um but first impressions absolutely love these i didn't think i would not like these um so um yeah so glad i got these so hopefully they fit um actually i'm curious i want to see how they fit on my calf because i have small calves and just my legs are smaller um to begin with so it's just kind of hard to like really get knee high boots that fit me the way i the, the way that i want because i want them to be fitted on my foot or on my leg i should say so first impressions they're really cute um definitely let me I'm gonna stand up and look at my mirror for a second but definitely like these so i feel like they're big enough or you know let me just show y'all let me take y'all off the um tripod and show y'all all right so here are the boots so like i said first impressions i like the fact that here they're not too tight and they're not too loose like i like the boots when they are you know when they kind of hug my leg um, because i can wear them with like a skirt or i can also put um wear like leggings or something and it won't be too like tight if you know what i mean so perfect for me and i got these in a size 10 they feel comfortable even just with one shoe on they feel super comfortable and i love the square toe so they're very comfortable in that respect too so just absolutely love these boots and again the color is perfect it's exactly what i wanted so so happy with these all right guys so those are all the things new in pieces that i just recently got the target stuff i've had for probably a week and a half maybe um the boots i got 
uh, last week, I think the end of last week, I think it was actually Fridays. Everything that I show you should still be available. So just check down in the description box. If you saw anything that you like and you're interested in it, um, it definitely will be down in the description box. So, um, but yeah, so that is the haul. 2,000 years later. Wow.